What's up, people? Welcome back to another video. Sorry, I just turned this down. Currently watching the Where's Your Head At podcast. If you haven't watched this podcast before, go check it out. It is absolutely hilarious. I'm actually training KD, Tommy, and Snowden as well. So the three hosts on the podcast. So I'm taking them through a transformation. But yeah, go check out their episodes. Absolutely hilarious. So we are doing a full day of eating. You guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing these glasses. So I find that because I'm staring at a screen all day that my eyes get sore and I start to get headaches. So wearing these blue light blocking glasses really, really help. I'm finding that my sleep is a lot better and I'm not getting headaches. So gotta try it out. Full day of eating, total calories. I'm currently on 3,200 calories on a training day. Today is a training day. I got my session in the morning. So I'm just whipping up my first meal. For each meal, I'm gonna pop the calories, the proteins, the carbs, the fats for that meal. I'm gonna be consuming around six meals today. If you have a lot of calories to hit, I recommend splitting it into multiple meals instead of having like two or three big meals because it's a lot on your digestion and you wanna make sure that you maximize the absorption of the food that you're actually consuming. Whipping up the first meal now, the first meal is going to be bagel, turkey bacon and egg. I'm gonna take these off because there's a mad glare and I want you guys to see my eyes, you know, one-on-one -on -one contact. So it's roughly around 50 grams of protein. It's gonna be around 30 grams of carbs and the fats are gonna be around between like five to 10 grams of fat. I've been eating this meal for so long that I kind of know the calories and the macros off by heart, but I'm gonna put the macros and calories up here. If I'm correct, drop a like in this video. So normally after my workout, I would have like a post-workout cocoa pops and whey protein, but if I train in the morning, I won't have that simply because I don't want to be consuming something like that sugary the first thing in the morning. So I would have my regular meal one if I training in the morning and then I'll just make up the calories with an additional meal later on in the day. But you guys are gonna get to see that. At the moment now, I'm currently in my improvement season. So this is bulking. So this is where I'm trying to put on as much muscle as possible. I have about six months to do so before prep starts. I'm trying to capitalize on this time now and make sure that I'm hitting all my meals. I'm not missing one gram of protein. So that just involves me spending a lot of money. If you guys don't know, bodybuilding is an expensive sport. The food shop comes out to about 150 every week, but it's it's an investment that I, I need to make and I want to make as well. The difference between when I'm cutting and when I'm bulking food choice wise is not much difference at all. I just kind of eat the same thing, but more. And that's it there. I actually forgot to tell you guys what's in this bagel and egg. So I have a brown bagel. The reason why I opted for the brown bagel is because it's higher in fiber, more fiber, more satiation, and better nutrition. And then I have, this is four egg whites. And then I have three turkey bacon. And as you guys saw, I just put a bit of taco mayonnaise on it. So you notice that I didn't really weigh out the taco mayonnaise, but I roughly know it's about like 15 to 20 grams of taco mayonnaise, so I can track that directly. So this is what I mean by being a little bit more lenient when I'm bulking versus when I'm cutting. When I'm cutting, I would make sure that that is 15. So yeah, gonna get this down. And then I guess I'm gonna catch you guys in the next meal. And we're back, so that's meal one done. Also had a bit of downtime as well, just to chill before heading back to work. So that's my usual routine in the mornings is that I would go train clients in the morning and then come back, have my first meals and then chill for a bit, have some downtime, relax, and then get straight back to work. I usually end up doing some finances for the business, some editing, some client touch points, some client check-ins, feedback, form analysis, and the list goes on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do some work, but I'm gonna grab some snacks with me. So my snack at the moment is, I have two snacks. So my first snack is some Greek yogurt or some soy yogurt. And then I would also have these lentil chips. I'm gonna show you guys. So these chips and um, the macros are actually really good. Ah, there we go. There we go. So these lentil chips here. So in one packet, there is 71 calories. There is nine grams of carbs, there's three grams of fat, and about 1.4 grams of protein. It's a good snack, so I would have two of these with some yogurt and granola. I'm going to, I'm not gonna have all of this, I'm gonna have about half of this, and then add some granola to it. 
I sometimes add some cashews and stuff to it, but I'm trying to really watch my fat intake. So I'm doing this very awkwardly. <laughs> there you go, so that's about half. I am in a surplus, so I have, and I have a good amount of food, but I just don't want to push it too hard. So I'm making sure that my fats stay as low as possible. So my fats at the moment is around 50 to 60 grams of fat. So stuff like cashew nuts or peanut butter um, can increase fat. If you find it hard to bulk, and if you find it hard to get the food in, Getting nut butters and oils is a good way to bump up your calories, put you in a surplus. But for me, I do not have issues at all <laughs> with getting food in and, uh, and growing as well. I grow on very little food. Like I could be growing on 3000 calories. I'm saying that now my peak off season, when I get to the end of my bulk, I'm probably gonna be consuming like probably four and a half thousand calories. But you'll find that the heavier you get and the more muscle you put on, the more food you'll have to consume. We got some granola, we got some frozen blueberries, and then we got some soy yogurt. So this is gonna work out to be around 10 grams of protein. If you have Greek yogurt, it might work out to be a little bit more. But I don't struggle to get protein in, so I'm just going to opt for the soy because for me, it digests a lot better than Greek yogurt. So I'm going to snack on this while I get some work done. And then I'm going to have another proper meal in about one to two hours time. I have six meals to get in, so I have to make sure that my meal timings are on point. So I'm going to catch you guys in meal number dos. That piece of editing took me way too long. As you can see, it is dark outside. Spent a good bit of time at the laptop there, but good thing is that I have the next meal already prepared. Guys, you've got a meal prep. It's the only way your nutrition is going to be on point week after week. So what I have is, oh, almost fell there. Focus, there we go. What I have is some brown rice, again, because of the fiber. And I have some turkey mince with some mixed veg in there. Okay, so for this meal, it's going to be 250 grams of brown rice, and then it's going to be 200 grams of turkey mince with 150 grams of mixed veg. So I'm gonna put the macros for this meal up here somewhere, and let's get it. There we go. All right, so that's the meal there. So we have the turkey mince, we have brown rice, and we have mixed veg. And then I put some of the taco mayonnaise on that as well, if you can focus. Come on, there we go. It's pretty nice. I mean, I'm, I'm used to these meals. I don't get bored of eating the same thing over and over. And um, I know a lot of people can get bored of that, but I feel if you can just get used to eating similar things every day, your progress will be a lot quicker. It'll be a lot faster and it'll be a lot better because, because you've taken your time in selecting the right meal choices for you and digest well, you like the taste of it so you can be more consistent with it. And the more consistent you are, the more progress you make. So I still have a good bit of work to do, but I'm tapping away at it here. And this was the video that I spent almost two hours making a, a one minute reel and it took about two hours to make this is it how much protein should you be consuming a day let's see what the science says so for fat loss it's been shown that anywhere between 2.3 and 3.1 and that's all you guys get if you want to go watch the whole video make sure to go check out my instagram i'm going to put the handle here free advice on training nutrition all of the above to get you to your goals so go make sure to check out my page we are on the road to 11k followers so make sure to follow make sure to share with a friend because we grown. So I'm going to get some work done while I'm eating meal number two. Then I'm going to check back with you guys in meal number three. Catch you in a bit. All right, so we're on to meal number three now. I don't have this cooked, but I'm going to be making chicken burgers, breaded chicken burgers. These things are nice. You just stick them in the air fryer and they're crispy. But you guys are going to get to see that now. I'm just going to be chicken burgers, brioche bun, and then I'm going to have some sweet potatoes as well. I'm gonna have 300 grams of sweet potato. I always weigh it out raw, just so it's accurate every single time because the weight is affected by how it's cooked. So for example, if I boil it and it absorbs all the water, it's gonna be heavier than if I air fry it. So I'm gonna weigh it out raw, 300 grams, and I'm gonna put the macros for that meal up here. Let's get it. I don't know about you guys, but I, I low-key find peeling potatoes and peeling sweet potatoes 
therapeutic. <laughs> it's one of those things where you're not really thinking about much, you're just thinking about cooking. And it's one of the reasons why I like to cook and one of the reasons I get really creative with my meals is that I just enjoy it, I find it therapeutic. It gets the creative juices going. But yeah, so I'm gonna make this one and then I actually have like three more meals to eat after this. So I'm a bit behind today. Uh, which is something I'm trying to work on. I always find that if I have really busy days, I tend to forget to eat. And I'm sure you guys can relate to that. So I'm gonna start putting it in my calendar, kind of le leaving gaps for when I'm going to eat because I, I cannot afford to miss meals. And um, so I guess today I'm probably gonna stay up till about like 12 o'clock just to get the food in, which isn't great, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Another another tip is to just start early. Like this morning, I didn't start early because I had um, a client session, but usually I would start try and start as early as possible. Get the first meal in around eight o'clock when I wake up, and then the rest of the day is smooth sailing with meals, with small meals throughout the day. All right, so gonna get these done and then I'm gonna check in with you guys when it's almost done. Okay, so while that is cooking, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my breaded chicken burgers in the most macro friendly way. All right, hope you guys can hear me okay over this air fryer. First thing to do is to grab your egg. So we're only gonna use the egg white. There's no reason to use the whole egg. It's just added fat with the yolk. So I'm just gonna crack the egg and separate the yolk. Oh, got a bit of yolk in there. It's all good. I always manage to get a shell in. I can never get this perfect, even though I've been doing this for many, many years. Right, next. We are going to season the breadcrumbs. We're gonna grab one of these bagels and make our own breadcrumbs. I'm gonna stick this in the blender. Might need to break it into pieces first because this is not working. And there we go, homemade breadcrumbs. So we're just gonna add this to the container. Then we're just gonna grab the chicken so four fillets here, so that's gonna be enough. Put a mixed herbs, cinnamon, Cajun seasoning. This here, this is the goat. Chili flakes. Gotta get the cayenne pepper as well. I never really weigh my seasonings because there's barely any calories in seasonings. And I just go by color really. Should look something a bit like this, all right? Into the egg, just flip it around, into the breadcrumbs, and voila. So I'm gonna finish this off and I'm gonna show you guys the end product in three, two, one. And there we go, we got the breaded chicken burgers, we got the taco mayonnaise on that as well. And we got the air fries, we prepared the fries. Looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so time for the next meal. The next meal is going to be a bit of a random one, but it makes up my macros. It is about 250 grams of prawns, and then I have about 250 grams of just baby potatoes. Very easy to make, just pop them in the air fryer. And then I have these, which are protein pancakes. So I have two of those. You can get them from Aldi. The macros aren't too bad. That is the meal. So the macros are going to be somewhere here. All right, so I'm gonna dig in. I have a check-in tomorrow with the coach. Body weight has been going up like between 0 0.8 and a kilo per week, which is which is actually a bit much. It's a bit much for this stage, but it's what we anticipated because I got very, very lean. And so my body is gonna be super responsive to food. It's gonna be super responsive to fat gain, but it's also gonna be super responsive to muscle gain as well. So the plan is for that to kind of plateau over the next coming weeks. So we shouldn't panic just yet. Once I reach a certain weight, I'm going to go back to maintenance calories just for a little bit and allow my body to recompose. So that means that I'm gonna be slowly building muscle and I'm gonna be chipping away at the body fat. And then I'm gonna do one last push up where calories are gonna go up again. We're gonna push for that extra bit of muscle. I had to pop on the light there, it was way too dark. But as I was saying, I'm gonna do that last push up. There will be probably a little bit of fat gain with it that as well but that'll be just in time for me to do a tidy up and then head into prep so that is going to be the plan but for now got to tick all the boxes i gotta get this meal down and then i'm gonna catch you guys in the next meal which will be the final 
meal of the day. Okay, so we are on to the last meal. I'm currently whispering because Anna is passed out on the couch, so I don't want to wake her up. I'm going to let you guys know what the last meal is before I head to bed. So it is cream of rice. So we have 80 grams of cream of rice and I have two scoops of protein powder, which works out to be about 80 grams. And then I have some frozen blueberries in there and sprinkle of coconut flakes. That just adds a bit of flavor to it. I like that coconutty taste. Okay, so I'm going to get this down. I'm going to watch a bit of YouTube. And then I'm going to check in with you guys tomorrow to let you guys know what the plan is for the 2024 competition season. Good morning. Welcome back. It is the next morning. Just up doing my... 6 a.m. fasted cardio but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the full day of eating yesterday i'm only about two weeks into the off season at the moment i'm really looking forward to making the improvements i need to make for me to come back for my second season and really be competitive i was watching back the youtube videos yesterday of my first competition season and just kind of looking back at the progress pictures and stage shots and i was just like i was just super motivated to come back even better it made me realize that like bodybuilding is my passion like i, I just love I love men's physique. It brings out that inner athlete in me just to continuously be better, continuously be competitive and continuously win, you know. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what improvements I make this season coming. But I know that the work starts now, you know, the work starts now. Work doesn't start when I start prep, it starts now. So got to make sure that my nutrition is on point, got to make sure that I'm hitting my steps, hitting my cardio, training intensely in the gym and fighting for the muscle that I need to become a pro natural physique competitor. Um, I'm going to take all the steps necessary for me to be able to get there because that's the type of person I am at the moment. So I'm reviewing everything at the moment just to make sure that all the tasks that I'm doing are accurate and are going to lead to me eventually getting to my goal. With that being said, the shows for the next season. So I've decided that I'm going to compete in late September, early October. It's going to be the WMBF Nationals here in Ireland. The reason for that is that I love the Federation and I competed in Seattle with them. And my aim is to get my pro card at that show and it is going to happen but just in the case that it doesn't happen because you never know who shows up on a day and uh, sometimes bodybuilding can be quite unpredictable and uh, my aim is to potentially compete in a WMBF international show so if that's if that means I have to travel to Germany if that means I have to travel to the UK or anywhere close enough that the federation is held I'm gonna go there and try for the pro card until I get it. And then the aim after that is to go into a pro show. Most likely I will try the WNBF Worlds again. Um, it might not be in Seattle this year. They normally host it in different locations every year, but most likely it's gonna be in the US. So there is going to be another USA video coming towards the end of the year. That's my goals, that's the competitions I have in mind. So I'm just working towards there. So we've reverse engineered my program um, to give me enough time to stay within this off season, make the improvements, and then I'll be starting prep around June, if all goes well. So that is it for today, guys. Um, I'm gonna finish this off, get on with the rest of my day. Super busy day today. Hope you guys found value from this video and are motivated to achieve your own goals. If you liked the video, please, please, please drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. So it reminds you when I drop my next video. I appreciate all the support so far. We're gonna stay consistent. We're gonna keep pumping out these videos, keep giving you guys value, keep motivating you guys. Road to 5K, as I said in the previous video, is on its way, all right? So, so make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Slow